Romeo hit tower. Icon ready for takeoff. Runway 2-2. Icon, cleared for immediate departure. Hey, John, I didn't know you had the morning shift. You bet, Lieutenant. You got students waiting for you when you get back? Affirmative. Icon out. Hello, everybody. Uh, sorry for that slight pause between the intro and me being on camera here. I had to make sure and get the player time over there on the screen where I'm actually doing the capturing of this episode. We are in episode two, two, two of, of uh, Microsoft Flight, and we are recording live on SimGamer TV's Sunday afternoon off, which I run from 1 p.m. Pacific time to 3 p.m. ish Pacific time. I had a bunch of technical crap getting get in my way today, but we finally got things going. And I want to introduce you to, if, you, if you're tuning in the episode and you haven't watched the first one, I would say go watch the first one because it's pretty cool. Um, but just briefly, um, we are now introducing the control cam. As you can see, my knees are wiggling. I have restless knee syndrome often. I will wiggle them unless I have something for my feet to do. But I actually have the control cam set up so we can see all my control system that I have for Microsoft Flight. Here we have... Microsoft are uh, the Satec Pro Flight Yoke system with all of its controls, including a handy stopwatch at the beginning, which I've just set for the episode. Right here we have the TPM, throttle, propeller advance, and fuel mixture. We're not going to be using the propeller and fuel mixture just yet as we're flying a plane that doesn't have those features. It's a light sport aircraft. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, so I'm doing a hybrid approach here, recording live and cutting episodes out of my live recording. And Darkstar makes an apt observation over here. He says, I've always wondered why YouTubers record two episodes straight after the first. And now you sort of know. Sometimes they're just recording it live. And, um, and you know, sometimes a lot, of, a lot of people who do YouTube might have a few hours or a number of hours to do the recording on a, on a weekend day. They'll do recording all day long and then cut up the episodes to release over a timed schedule. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with this. Um, I'll have these episodes come out, you know, uh, maybe I'll have an episode come out on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday so people can kind of have some something to look forward to that are actually watching this and subscribing on a daily basis, as opposed to those of you, my dedicated fans, who are actually tuning in live. And I want to say hello and thank you. Um, if you want to see me live, tune in on a Sundays, 1, 1 p.m. Pacific time. I stream for a good couple of hours. And for the foreseeable future, we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful game called Microsoft Flight. So let's get into it. We can actually see the music and all, hear the music and all that good stuff. We did uh, the first introductory flight and tutorial one in the previous episode. Now we're going on to tutorial two, once again flying the Icon A5, and we're gonna learn how to land <clears throat> um, at Kona International. So one thing I liked about Microsoft Flight is that it had these tutorials and is very game-like. There's, there's some career sort of stuff where you, you can do deliveries and get experience and those experience that, that those experiences and depending on which challenges you do you'll this actually lesson, we'll go over the basics of landing a light aircraft you'll actually uh, you get some unlocks a few times it takes practice to make a perfect approach and landing i've already done this a few times <laughs> we're flying the icon a5 just south of kona international the runway here is huge so it's hard to miss it's actually built over a lava field Okay, there are three keys to landing an airplane. Speed, speed, <laughs> and you guessed it, speed. My instructor always told me, you've got to slow down to go down. That's very true. You have the airplane. Go ahead and pull the throttle back to 45%, or about 3,800 RPM. Good. Let's lower the landing gear now as well. That's the switch right there. You see how the nose drops? Yep. So we're at about a thousand feet. the nose feet. up just enough for a shallow descent, and we'll start slowing down. Let me show you something. I'll handle the throttle for this part of the lesson. All right, you thank you. just concentrate on flying the airplane. Since speed is the key to a good landing, pay close attention to our airspeed. 
So what I have right here... ...toward the runway at about 55 knots in this aircraft. So rather than using the throttle to adjust our speed, raise the nose to slow down or lower the nose to speed up. Yep. It might sound strange, but it'll really help you nail the landing. Go ahead and try it. Good so job. We're right on speed. Okay, now that we're at 55 knots, make slight adjustments to maintain this airspeed. So what I want to do, I have, I'm going to use my trim okay, here. Okay, good job so far. You have control of the throttle again. Now's and a good time to trim. Yes. This will relieve the pressure you've got yes, on the yes. elevator controls. Yes. You should be able to fly final approach hands off. So I'm just pushing down on the trim wheel here, trim button. You I want to go the left ahead and pitch forward a little bit. I'm going to pick up some speed. They let you know if you're on the glide slope to the runway. Now all notice, red lights mean you're too low, and all white lights mean you're too high. If you see too white and too red, you're right on the glide slope. I keep trying to talk Not all much. airports have these lights, however. Some airports use a very similar system called the VASI. Right now it shows three white lights and one red light, so we're just a little high on the approach. To adjust how high or low we are, use the throttle. We're right yep. where we need to be. Yep. Great job. So I've throttled Remember up a little bit. Remember to throttle back after making adjustments. Yes. Throttle up a little bit just to extend our glide slope okay, because we knew we came in. Okay, Try and make only minor adjustments. Unfortunately, this particular control scheme has a rather large dead zone. It's a physical dead zone. It's not like I can adjust it. There we go. So we want to go ahead and throttle back since my glide slope's gone long and I have three white lights. That's basically my signal to throttle back. A little left turn here to get lined up with the runway. There we go. More juice on the throttle. Not on the center line. Now that we're over the runway, pull the power back to idle. And hold the nose up so the aircraft just settles onto the runway. <clears throat> so we're getting close to stall here. Flare. Well, it'll take a little practice to make a good landing. Normally, uh, in this... Now gently brake until we've slowed down to about 10 knots. So the brakes I actually have on my toes, I push, push my feet forward. And I have independent braking control on each of the wheels. I... Okay, try it again. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. See, if I jam the brake on one, one of the wheels, I can actually turn the plane around using that thing. Award! Bounced in! Um... That is the tutorial of landing. I think, let's see, I've got, that was only a six minutes or so. Um, just taking a look at some comments really look here. Uh, here. Okay. Um, we've got plenty of time here. So I'm actually gonna go to the hangar, grab the Icon A5, make sure that's my selected aircraft, um, and go to free flight. And we'll just do a little flying around. And get used to uh, a little bit how these controls are working with, uh, with the, now that we have ourselves properly introduced to the Icon A5. The Icon A5 is a light sport aircraft, which is available for about a quarter million dollars. Um, it's too expensive for me, that's for sure. What I need to do is I need to get famous on YouTube, like, like that one guy and make millions of dollars and then I can actually get airplanes and I'll get a GoPro and do YouTube shows of airplane stuff. Um, but here I am, I'm on the runway. I think the engine is running, right? Yes, it is. So, um, just recenter. So I'm, I'm pushing forward on the tow brakes to keep my brakes on. If I want to do a good, uh, good takeoff, I might apply my throttle with my brakes on, let my engine spool up to high RPM, release the brake, and off we go. 
Use my feet to control the rudder. Push on that rudder over there, so we're going straight. This plane likes to lift off at about 55 knots, so we'll go ahead and pull back. Watch the angle of attack indicator right in the middle. And we're airborne. Landing gear up. We'll descend straight out over this long ass runway uh, to about a thousand feet. Fly around, come in for landing. And then that'll probably be it for episode two. We are looking at Microsoft Flight, which is a game that came out in 2012. Um, when I post these episodes, and I'll make sure in the link we have a link to the website that one of my viewers found, one of my live stream viewers, uh, on how to get a hold of this game. It's a, it's a free to play game and there are download packs that you used to be able to buy, but now the since the publisher Microsoft is no longer, um, do I have my lights on? Make sure those are on. Um, since Microsoft is no longer selling it, uh, then one of the programmers for the game has put the uh, has put the game out on the site uh, on a site where you can actually get the free free copy and then all of the download con or well what he did is he re-engineered the download packs so that they could be installed for free as well and it's a completely legal licensed thing go ahead and get my trim set we're at a thousand feet now so I need to go ahead and pitch for level flight Pitch and trim, 85% throttle, level flight. Since I'm having to push on the yoke to actually keep my nose down, I'm gonna apply some forward trim here. All right, now we can take a look around. <laughs> um, at the landscape. I'm gonna try and do a turn without losing too much altitude. I'm going to do what's called a procedure turn because it looks like we are heading downwind. Um, basically, your procedure turn is you turn off the runway, fly a little ways, come around again so you can get lined up for the runway. So we're at a thousand feet here. This is pretty good. I can actually view behind us. Uh, the runway is way over there. Oh, there it is. So that actually might be far enough. Let's go ahead and bank around once again. I want to keep my altitude as close to level as possible. So Gmod's asking, are we going to go into stop having the Euro Truck Afternoon Drive? Uh, just for a little while, the afternoon drive is being replaced by the Sunday off Sunday afternoon simulation. Um, while I do this Microsoft Flight series, and once we get done with the core episodes, you know, the kind of the core missions, we'll get back into Euro Truck Simulator. But I spent the money, I did the work, and got my control cam set up, and I really, really, really wanted to show it off. So we're going to get lined up on this runway. We're going to start descending. I've throttled back to 45. I'm going to go ahead and keep my nose level for a bit as my speed reduces. And I'm going to trim using this thumb switch here. We're pretty high on the glide slope, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Okay, we're right on the money for a nice powered descent at this point. Throttle 45%, 65 knots or so. Um, go ahead and trim up a little bit more for less speed. And we're getting to a point where we can turn and get lined up on that runway. We're streaming, I think. Um... I think we're 1080p at 30 uh, at 60 frames. I'm not sure if this is running 60 or 30 frames. I couldn't tell you, honestly. Okay, I need to 
really back off the throttle here because we're way long on the glide slope. We see only white lights. That means our glide slope is quite long where we would end up overshooting the runway at this point. So we're just going to go ahead and throttle down, pitch our nose forward to maintain the same kind of speed that we were at. We are on final, so we could be aiming for 55 knots if we wanted to. And I'm also keeping an eye on the uh, sort of the visual indicator, even though the lights are telling me my ideal glide slope. I can tell by the by the landscape how things are going, and I am actually going to go ahead and start throttling up. There we go. We have two by two red and blue, uh, red and white lights. So I actually need to go ahead and just do this. Coming for a nice soft landing, and this will probably be a sort of a shorter episode. Throttle back again. Nose up. And we can actually go down to idle. Whoa. Minor adjustments, dude. Okay, we're basically falling out of the sky because I pulled up too high. I just realized I don't have my landing gear down. That was close. We almost touched down on our belly. And now we can just roll out here if we wanted to. We could actually taxi. I'm using the rudder. I can also use the tow brake to help. Yeah, we're just driving with the rudder at this point. But that is our, you know, first little sort of um, quick round trip. Get off the runway, get on the runway. We'll go ahead and apply the tow brakes. Come to a stop. And that's our first solo flight, as it were. <clears throat> um, nice. <clears throat> and there you have it. So this is going to be it. It's a little bit of a shorter one for episode two. Um, if you want to see me live, tune in on Sundays, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time. If you're watching the episodes, another one's coming up r probably right around the corner. Uh, I'll be releasing one episode a day, sort of. I'll schedule these ahead of time. And um, and that kind of good stuff. So we want to go exit this free flight. And here we are back on the uh, runway in the main island of Hawaii. Next time on the Sunday afternoon flight, we will get ourselves introduced to a new aircraft which is the Stearman. Um, and then we'll do a couple of those Stearman missions. Maybe Stearman aer uh, aerobatics. I need level five for that. Level two. Oh, brother. We've got some work to do. You know what? I'm not going to end the episode right now. We have a way to get some more experience. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We've got... Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a free flight. Activities, missions, challenges. Oh yeah, these are a great way to get experience. So and and also a great way to practice. So we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode with an Icon A5 landing challenge one. Basically, this is a way to practice landing your uh, airplane on the center line at the with the right glide slope, sticking your tires in the right position, and you basically on those captain's marks that are on the runway. So we'll go ahead and uh, run this challenge. Since I have more time on the clock here, I generally try to get about 25 minutes on an episode if I can. Might as well make the content worthwhile. Okay, land as smoothly as possible. We're going to go ahead and throttle way back. And once again, we're going to maintain level flight. Double check that our gear are down, which they're not. So we'll go ahead and cycle those. I'm going to pull up to lose some speed here. We're essentially coming in hot because 
you know, we started our landing too close to the airport. So, we just need to pull it up, lose some speed, just like that. Although we're not getting the best score we possibly could because we got a nice, we did get a nice soft landing. Very little side skid, and we weren't particularly well placed as far as the runway, runway center line goes. We've now landed at 3 out of 10 airports, but that should be enough to get us up to level 3. So we can go ahead and accept that. Bronze medal. That gets us that experience. Um, so we're now level 3. We need to be level 4 before we can do the steerman checkout. Landing practice is always useful. So what other challenges do we have here? Is there another, another landing challenge? Icon A5 landing challenge 2. Or... No, that's the... No, 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 no. That's the challenge 2. Can I not repeat that one? Oh, it's all the way down here. Okay. Let's select that one and try it again. This time we're probably gonna fly around a little bit to get our, our ourselves positioned better. So we're gonna go ahead and bank this way hard. Throttle back. What we need to do is we need to do an S turn or two to lose some speed. There we go. Now, I'm more happy about that. Landing gear down, please. Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up for this center line if, if we can at all. We're about to stall here. <laughs> that was not... Well, there was a... Decently soft, a little bit of side skid. Run my center line was good. Just gonna bring ourselves to a stop and see how we scored. Silver medal. We'll go ahead and accept silver on that. That's gonna be good enough. So uh, now I will officially wrap up episode two of Let's Play Microsoft Flight in episode three. You guys will see an introduction to the Stearman, which is an old World War II... Um, <clears throat> it was a World War II training plane, basically. They used to train pilots. You know, it's got a front and seat, uh, front, and, front and back seating position so that the uh, pilots could train in basic flight mechanics and get all the certifications and stuff. So I'm going to say thank you for tuning in and watching this, if you're watching the episodes. If you're tuning in live, stick around. We're going to be cutting another episode. And if you want to catch me live, it's a Sundays at 1 p.m. for SimGamer TV's Sunday Afternoon Simulation, otherwise known as SimGamer TV's Sunday Afternoon Drive, otherwise known as SimGamer TV's Sunday Afternoon Off, depending on which game I'm actually playing. This is Microsoft Flight. Expect links to be showing up in the description on how to get a hold of this game uh, coming in the near future. So um, if you wanna if you wanna play it, it's no longer available at the Microsoft Store, so you have to download it at a sort of a unofficially official sanctioned uh, place. And with that, I'm gonna say keep flying and stay shiny. Tune in next time. Remember to leave a like if you like what you're like what I'm doing. Leave a like for the new control cam or leave a comment saying that you love the new control cam if 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 you think that's pretty cool. I'll be using that for a lot of games that have complex controls especially simulations and so you can be looking